Many consider that guns of World War II are famous, widely influential, and powerful. But it's important to remember that combat technology evolved decades earlier, during trench warfare in World War I. The eight guns in this list were used in World War I and performed so well that they were used again in World War II. Thanks to a mix of dependability, cost effectiveness, superb designs and some other features of which these guns never faced out of service. So today, let's check out the eight guns of World War I that are still in use today. So firstly, we have the M1903 Springfield. United States Rifle Model 1903 is a five-round magazine-fed, bolt-action service repeating rifle that was popular in the United States throughout the first half of the 20th century. It was formally designated as the Standard Infantry Rifle by the United States on June 19, 1903 and saw action in World War I. During World War II, the Korean War and in the early phases of the Vietnam War, it was used as a sniper rifle. It is still in use today as a civilian firearm, a competition shooting rifle, and a military drill rifle. The U.S. Army drill team prizes the Springfield especially for its balance, which makes it popular with color guards. Up next, we have the Mosin Nagant M1891 bolt-action rifle, which is a five-shot bolt-action internal magazine-fed military rifle. It is a Russian-made firearm that is one of the most mass-produced bolt-action rifles in history, saw widespread service during World War I, and its variants are still in use today, most recently in the 2014 annexation of Crimea by the Russian Federation. It was first produced in 1981 following the Russian Empire's severe casualties in the Russo-Turkish War and 37 million were produced till 1965. It was also involved in Afghan conflict. In the Great War, it was also the regular issue weapon for the Russians and also one of the oldest on the market that is still in use today. Next is the Model 1886 rifle, which is 8mm bolt-action infantry rifle that entered service in the French Army in 1887. During World War I, it was the basic weapon of the French infantry, and the weapons were supplied to various Allied armies such as Serbia, Russia, Belgium, and United States during the war. Between 1887 and 1916, the three French state factories manufactured a total of 3.45 million of these rifles. In 1945, during the final months of the war, many rifles were issued to Volksturm conscripts along with any other available weapons. Later years, during the Indochina and Algerian wars, these rifles were issued to auxiliaries or second-line units. The functional model 1886 rifles have been found in Iraq during the Iraqi insurgency after 2003. Next, we have the Carcano Modello 1891. This is an Italian bolt-action rifle introduced in 1891. The M91 was used in both rifle and shorter barrel carbine form by most Italian troops during World War I and by Italian and some German forces during World War II. The rifle was also used during the Winter War by Finland and again by regular and irregular forces in Syria, Libya, Tunisia, and Algeria during various post-war conflicts in those countries. During the Libyan Civil War in 2011, many rebels used the Carcano rifles and it has been the most frequently observed style of bolt-action rifle. These old weapons saw combat once again due to the rebels' limited access to modern firearms. Up next, we have the Madsen Machine Gun 1902. This is a light machine gun that was used in many wars including World War I and World War II. The Brazilian military police of Rio de Janeiro State used Madsons into the 21st century. Although some of the Brazilian guns were captured from drug traffickers and pressed into service, the majority of the Brazilian police Madsons came from the Brazilian army. As of 2018, the Madsen was still used by the police. It was favored by the police for its reliability and intimidating sound. It is the world's first true light machine gun produced in quantity and Madsen was able to sell it in 12 calibers to over 34 countries. 
The gun saw extensive combat usage for over 100 years, with continued use in limited quantities worldwide today. Up next is the Maxima PM1910. This is a medium machine gun that was used by the Imperial Russian Army during World War I and the Red Army during the Russian Civil War and World War II. The powerful 7.62 by 54mm round lent itself especially well to use in weapons that had to fire at long ranges and maintain lethality. The PM1910 was mass-produced in enormous quantities and served in Russia until World War II. It was also used by various countries during the Korean War, notably China and North Korea. Rate of fire was approximately 250 to 300 rounds per minute using the standard Nagant cartridge with a fabric belt. This gun saw service in Korean War, Vietnam War and Syrian War. Next is the M1911 pistol. The M1911 is the best known of John Browning's designs to employ the short recoil concept in its basic design. During its service life, the U.S. military purchased around 2.7 million M1911 and M1911A1 handguns. From 1911 until 1985, the pistol was the standard-issue sidearm for the United States Armed Forces. It was widely used in World War I, World War II, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War. Some units of the U.S. Army Special Forces, U.S. Marine Corps, and U.S. Navy still utilize modernized variants of the M1911. Many military and law enforcement groups in the United States and other nations, including the LAPD SWAT, the FBI Hostage Rescue Team, FBI Regional SWAT Teams, and the Delta Force, still use the M1911A1 handguns. Last but not the least, we have the Nagant M1895 revolver. This is a 7-shot, gas steel revolver which was used extensively by the Russian Imperial Army and later by the Soviet Union after the Russian Revolution. In Russian service, it was known for its extreme sturdiness and ability to withstand abuse. Despite the advent of the more modern Soviet TT pistol, the M1895 remained in production and use throughout World War II. It remained in use with the Russian Railways, Postal Service, and some remote police forces for many years. In the Russian Federation, it was only retired from use with Postal Security Service in 2003 and from Bailiff Security Service in 2009. Nagant revolvers have been found with the terrorist Amity Koulibaly in 2015 and with the Dutch arms dealer. That, guys, was the 8 guns of World War II that are still in use today. We hope you've enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned for more videos from the buzz. Bye-bye.